Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. In this video, I'll be unboxing this new Brother HL-L2370DW and showing you everything that's inside the box. We'll be going over what's included and quickly showing you some of the different parts and functions of the printer unit. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, please check out my video in which I review this printer in action. If you decide to purchase this printer, please use my link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon which will help support me and my channel. Before we get started, let's take a look at the outside of the box and see if there's any useful information. If we look here, we see a list of all of the operating systems that are supported, and that's basically all of the current Windows and Mac versions of the operating systems. If we look here, we see the contents of the box, including the laser printer itself, a starter toner cartridge that is good for about 700 pages, a drum unit that is good for about 12,000 pages, and if we come down here, we see that it says that a printer cable is not included, and that this unit works with either USB or Ethernet. This printer also connects wirelessly, so you may be able to operate it without even needing one of these cables. And lastly, we have some information here about the different toner cartridges that we can use. We have the TN730, which does 1,200 pages, the TN760, which does 3,000 pages, and the TN770, which does 4,500 pages. And if we ever need to replace the drum unit, we can use this part number and install a new black drum unit, which will be good for 12,000 pages. Turning to the front of the box, as it says here, this is a compact laser printer. It supports duplex, which is two-sided printing. It can hold 250 sheets of paper in the paper tray. It can connect either wirelessly or through ethernet, also USB. And you can use this printer and print from your mobile device. And down here, it talks about the printing speed, which is up to 36 pages per minute. Moving to the side of the box, we have a lot of the same information. Uh, it's compatible with Windows, Macs, Apple Airport. It's Wi-Fi certified, as well as WPS. Um, it is uh, a compact laser printer. And over here, we just see some bullet points that talk about the same features that we've already discussed. To open the box, I'll use my trusty box cutter as always, and I will set the blade to a very short distance so that I don't damage anything while I'm cutting into the box. So here we have the packing instructions on the inside of the box. Essentially, this is what we're going to find. We're going to find some papers on the top. This looks like it's the toner unit. Uh, and then we're going to find the printer and some other information here. And then the last piece of packing information on the bottom. So we'll just open that up. So this is some documentation that's on the top. If you'd like to see scanned copies of either of these documents, please see below in the description section for links that I've prepared to scanned copies. This silver bag is on the top. I'm thinking that this is the toner cartridge. I'm going to put this to the side for now and then we'll come back to it. I'm gonna put the box on its side so that I can pull the printer out more easily. Here is the printer unit in this bag. I will put this to the side for a moment and we will finish emptying out the box. In the bottom of the box, I found this bag with some more documentation and some CDs or DVDs. Okay, so that is the contents of the box. Now I'll take a look at the bag with the documents and the CDs, and then we'll move on to the printer after that. Okay, so we have a CD or a DVD containing drivers and utilities for the printer. We have some product safety guides. We have a one year limited warranty card, and we have this information sheet about how to get the best performance out of the printer. With all of that out of the way, let's open up the printer. Next, I'll remove all of the packing tape from the various parts of the printer. Now that I've removed all of the tape, let's look at the various sides of the printer, starting with the top. And as we can see here, this is the model of the printer that can come in handy sometimes. There are a few tabs that we can pull out, which will help guide the paper that is printed. If we are printing something like legal paper or something longer, we can use this tab here to catch those longer pages. Over here, we have the operator panel. This is an LCD screen. We have the power button. 
Wi-Fi, back, OK, minus, plus, and go. And if you'd like more information about the operator panel, please be sure to see my review video. Now let's take a look at the sides of the printer. Okay, so this is one of the sides. This is the left-hand side. As you can see here, there are some vents, uh, some heating vents, which help keep the machine cool. Other than that, there's nothing here. And this is the other side. And as you can see, there's nothing on this side either. Again, we have some heating vents and that's about it. We also have some vents down here. Moving to the front of the printer, essentially there are two ways that we can put paper in this unit. We can either use this tray, which is the manual feed tray. You open it up like that. And as you can see, we have these guides that we can use to set the width of the paper. We can use these if we are putting in something like envelopes or legal size paper or anything else that won't fit in the standard paper tray. So close that up. So looking at the paper tray itself, that's here. Open it up like that. For demonstration purposes, I'll adjust this tray for a standard letter size paper. Take our paper like this, install it under this back tab, and then we can use this green tab to push the paper forward, and this has been already set for the correct width. Looking at the bottom of the printer, Not much to see here. We have a couple of these rubberized pads which are used to keep the printer in place on your desktop. And other than that, there's nothing really to look at. Finally, let's look at the back of the printer. On this side, we see that this is the connector for the network cable. And this is the connector for the USB cable. As I mentioned at the beginning, please note that this unit does not come with a USB cable. Over here is where the power connects. Please note that this cable is directly connected to the printer. Oftentimes on printers like this, you'll see that they'll use a cable like this, which you can connect and disconnect. However, on this model, the power is directly connected to the printer and you can't plug it in or unplug it. The final thing that I'll note on the back of the printer is this tab here, which you can pull open if you need to remove any paper jams or get access to the back of the printer. Next, I'll show you how to open up this toner bag and install this into the printer. If you want, you can use scissors to open this bag, but it's actually designed to be torn open by using these tabs here. As you'll see, when you open the toner, it has some orange plastic on it. This is packaging material, so this is something that you're going to want to take off of the toner unit. To install the toner unit, open up the front of the printer and slide it into place until it clicks in with this green label facing you. With respect to the size and weight of this printer, it's 14 inches wide, 7.2 inches tall, and 14.2 inches deep. When it's loaded with the drum and toner, but not loaded with paper, the weight is 15.9 pounds. That concludes my unboxing of the Brother HL-L2370DW laser printer. If you liked this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my other videos in which I review this printer in action, show you how to install and set up the Brother iPrint and Scan software, and show you how to use it with this printer. If you end up purchasing this printer, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon, which will help support me and my channel. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Delman.